Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another season of Eat the Race. This time we're on light season, week 233. I'm DTM as always. And yeah, unfortunately, we got sack played on the uh, first day, which is super unfortunate. I always hate those. Um, but it is Mila bonus season, and we do have Mila at plus 10, so it is our time to shine, I guess. Yeah, the teams are exactly the same as the previous light season. We have Double Save, we have Ninjoran Force, we have Vantage Byleth, we have Summer Edelgard Gale Force, and we still have our Triple Edelgard Gale Force team. And yeah, let us begin. As always, if you like the content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz. Only takes five seconds to subscribe, but it truly does help out the channel a lot. And I really do appreciate all the constant support. Alright, we have a Japanese Sothis player as our first opponent. And okay. Alright, interesting. Um, yeah, Idun here is save. I forget does... Uh... Okay, we, we do get 70% damage reduction there. But, like, I'm pretty sure we do at least, um, at least, we need to do 17 damage. Hmm. There's guard here, though, which is really annoying. But guard won't be active. Okay. Okay. I think this is an Enjorn Force. I'm pretty sure. I bestow my blessing. Thankfully, there is no turn one, so we should be safe to do something like this. So let's step back here, like break this, turn. and let's do a damage check. Okay, that is 10. Morning. We need Peony here so we'll that we have an extra two damage, huh? Which path to take? Um, okay, that is 17 right there. We'll see this through. I bestow my blessing. Okay, let's move Mila closer. Like this. Yeah, okay. What? Let's do something like this. We got one pot here, which is really the nice. And also once the got once like um the bolt tower hits, we shouldn't we should be able to have guard uh... now. Yeah. Alright, cool. So yeah, we can take out Idun here, which is very nice. We can dance here. And also we have... There's... Oh wait, there's no dual hindrance. We'll okay, that's through. really interesting. Yeah, we can take out Corrin here. Access this. Okay, so that was fake. So this one is real. Okay, let's... um, um. Take out Effie here. Hmm. We need to get Edelgard in somehow. And preferably trap Ramimond, I guess. We'll see this through. Um. So we'll we can do through. something like this. Take out Knot. Dance. Move one. And then we can have Edelgard come in. With the guaranteed at least one. Out of my way. Extra action. It will be and done. yeah, let's smite Peony over there to get the next pot on the next turn. I agree. And yeah, that should be GG's. Very nice. Very clean um, Ninja Orange Force clear. You what? love to see it. Yeah, we can yes. just. Okay, we actually don't take out Sothis there, but thankfully Ninja Orange can. We'll Alright, GG's. Good games. 
All right, GG, Stephanie, still this player. On to the next one. All right, match number two. Let's see who our second opponent shall be. Uh, Japanese Sothis player will be our next opponent. Okay. All right, we have um, Medius here, which is going to be very annoying. Uh, hmm. Sothis here can actually cause trouble because, um, like, yeah. Wait, is this? Okay, this is refined. Yeah, Sothis has, like, enough damage reduction and color advantage against Ninjoran to be able to, uh... Um... To get, like, the, uh... I guess the proc, to call it. But honestly, I think this might be a Summer Edelgard clear. Hmm. Yeah, this might be. I don't know, can I would hope Summer Edelgard can take out Sirius. I mean Sothis. But I don't have a lot of wait. Oh shoot, this catapult actually coming in clutch. Maybe. Actually, hold on. Hmm. Okay, this is going to actually going to be very difficult. Huh. This layout is not exactly conducive to, like... Anything. <laughs> okay, maybe we, like, double save this. I think we have to. This is a lot of res, though. I don't think we beat that. So, there's just not... We're just not going to be able to survive against Lind. Huh. Okay, maybe we turn one this <laughs> with Summer Edelgard. I think I think we I think that's what we need to do. Do something like this. It's going to be so unfortunate that uh. Wait, what? You're S supported with uh wait, you're not? Okay, that's gonna be very annoying. Okay, for I somehow forgot to S support Wait, no, you should be S supported. Okay. What? Oh, you're still S support with Celef. Oh my goodness, okay. Alright, that's that's so sad. But I think we should still be good because Medius is here. Let's swim. Yeah, we can do this, I guess. And that will allow us to proc Gale Force. Oh, it's really on. nice. So we do this. Out of my way. And then we warp in Corrin. What? Uh, I guess we can take out Embla. Yes. And then take out Lin. What do you want? I agree. And then I guess Beckons. we position Edelgard away. And hopefully survive. Yeah. And that should be GG's. Very what? nice. Out of my way. Okay, we do need to make sure we actually take out Sothis, though. I agree. Um, 
which path to take. Okay. Ask Let's our can, swim. which is really bad. Okay. Yeah, we just do this, do this. And yeah, GG's. Good game. All right, GG's, Japanese Sothis player. I respect it. On to the next one. All right, match number three. Let's see who our next opponent shall be. Um, yeah, it's been going, at least on Aetherite's defense. <laughs> Got getting a bunch of AR classics, which is obviously super unfortunate. Okay, wait. Okay, I was about to say, is this like a all... Like... All plus ten team with like their favorite units, but yeah, it appears not... Um, but yeah, like, this bolt tower cleans it right through, so this is definitely an Enjoin Force. Good morning. Yeah, definitely, um, going to Enjoin Force for that. There should not be a turn one, because Triandra is the seventh slot, and therefore won't get the, um, what's the word? What? Won't be able to dance. Looks <laughs> like it's my turn. Um... Yeah, we just need to go one here. Maybe and I guess move Peony over here. Very nice. And yeah, we get that. There's no Kanto control, so... We can take out Ninia and go back one. And then take out Katria. And then that should, like... Be GG's from there. All right, let's do this. Take out Not first. So fun. Uh, does any one of these have guard? No. Okay, that's good. We'll see this through. Take care of Ninian then. Might as well. Canto back one. Okay, that one was fake. That's interesting. I guess this one was real. But now we just um, take out Catria. And that will activate the dual hindrance. And what we can do is take out Sothis here. Wait, can we sweep this? Honestly, I'm pretty sure we can. Okay, let's make sure we get this Gale Force proc. Okay, good. Let's take Noka out here. And then I guess we uh, trap Triandra. And yeah, that's GG's. I agree. All right, very cool. Very nice. Which path to take? And yeah, Trion Triandra like gets one shot yes. by Edelgard. And yeah, very nice and join Force Clear. You love to see it. All right, GG's Japanese Katria player. On to the next one. All right, match number four. Let's see who our next opponent shall be. Uh-oh, we have a Jap... Whoa! No way. Are these all plus 10? Okay, that is actually so based. <laughs> That is amazing. Hmm. Okay, now unfortunately for them, they don't have a healing tower, so... Um, we should be able to Ninjorn force this, I believe. Uh, we just break through here and then be on our way. Um, but that is amazing. These are all plus 10. I, I think I found Ephraim, Dev. <laughs> okay, let me just make sure there's no, like, a... Uh, extra movement or anything. This one has extra movement, so we have to be careful about that. But other than that, I don't see any other extra movement. So this one will move one extra space. But wow! That's actually so cool. Yes! Um... 
morning. But yeah, let's make sure there's no like any funny shenanigans. We again, again, we can take our time if we want to. Ready. We'll see this through. Okay. We should be good for that. So Hopefully. Again, I'm playing this very safe because honestly, I don't want to underestimate um. anything. Yeah. It looks like it's my At the very least, there is no Fly dual down. hindrance. So we got that going ourselves. Okay, and let's get an Edelgard now. What? Yes. Okay. Maybe um, we'll see I guess we can through. take this and then activate our dual skill here. Uh, who does more damage? You do. Because you actually have Ruptured Sky. Okay. We'll Let's do that then. What? It will be and then what we can do is we can smite here. The unknown beckons. Take this pot. Activate our dual skill. And then yeah, that should be GG's. Alright, good game. But I really respect the team. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, GG's. Yeah, definitely found Ephraim, Dev. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. Alright, match number five. Let's see who our fifth opponent shall be. Uh, Senpai will be our fifth opponent. Okay. Wait, isn't it light season? Why is Medius here? <laughs> Why is Thor here? I have so many questions. Um, yeah, I guess we literally just like go through here with um, uh, Ninjoran. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, this will be a straightforward Ninjoran force clear. Yeah, we could just do something like this. Yes. This is weird because I normally don't I have to like think about um, doing that for think about like taking on Fomortis we'll outside through. of um, you know. Looks like it's my turn. Wow, we actually almost get that there. Good morning. But yeah, we should be able to do this. And then we have the bolt tower. Like this. That's not exactly the most coherent of thoughts, through. but it's okay. So and there's also no dual hindrance, so this should be fine. And then we can warp in with Edelgard. Do this. Maybe this way. I might as well take out um, Edelgard here. And yeah, after that, it's just taking out Thor and should be GG's. What? We'll see this through. Hmm. It will be done. I agree. Okay, let's do something. This is going to be like very risky. 
but it should Looks work. Like Which path turn. to take? We position there, dance know. there, and we have the harmonic. Yep, very nice. All right, very clean and joint for us, Claire. You love to see it. GG Senpai, on to the next one. All right, match number six. Let's see who our sixth opponent shall be. System will be our sixth opponent, and... Okay. Interesting. Um... I guess, uh, both Legendary Edelgard and Dimitri here is nice. <laughs> um... But yeah. No save either, so... This is definitely going to be an Enjoin Force clear. I bestow my blessing. No dual hindrance either. Which is kind of shocking. But yeah, we should be good to yes. go like so. We'll see this through. Just take this out. Maybe this way. I guess we can take this out too. So fun. And then prepare just in case, like, there's something weird going on. Um. Looks like it's my turn. Yes. Alright, looks good. Let's do this. All right, let's begin by doing this. I do not know. Shush, quiet down. Take this out. Go back here. Okay, that was fake. Good to know. Out of my way. And yeah, from here it's basically what? GGs, right? Like this. Ready. We can even get rid of this um, and take this out. The unknown beckons. And yeah, just wait for the next turn. And yeah, we get that with Tiki, which is really nice. So we can just do this. And yeah, GG. Good games. You'll love to see it. All right, GG system. On to the next one. All right, final matches today. Yeah, I we don't have a lot of time, and honestly, I'm super tired. So hopefully we can uh, get this through. I also have free summon Lucia, so just in case we need some Omni tanks, we have the scuffed build. Um, and also I have an AoE Alm team because I was inspired by PM1. Um, but yeah, let us get on to the seventh match. Yab will be our next opponent, and okay... Interesting. So, obviously, Medius will be very annoying. But I think we can do this. Because there's only... Well, actually, no, this is Desperation, not Vantage. Yeah. And we also only need one pot. So if we can clear, like, this area, we should be good to go. Okay, this is an Enjoin Force, for sure. May the land be bountiful. And then I guess we can have this here. Like this. And there should not be a turn one, at least from what I've seen. So fun. 
one. Um. So we can do something like Good this. Morning. Yes. I bestow my blessing. I agree. Again, we should be out of range like so. Quiet down. Okay, very good. And we actually don't need to take out the tactics room, actually. So yeah, let's do it like this. Also, I don't know why I'm waiting for the bolt tower when, like, it won't actually do anything. <laughs> we'll see this through. But yeah, let's do this. Looks like we can it's do this here. Turn. Um. We can do this. And then we do have the dual skills, so... Yeah. Obviously, Medius will be very annoying. But we can take out Veronica here. And then warp in, um... I guess, Edelgard. Out of my way. We'll see this through. And we almost get this, actually. But thankfully, Asker can finish this off. Very nice. And yeah, Which path did that should be GG's. What? Very nice. Honestly, we probably could have swept this. Oh well. <laughs> All right, yes. GG's. Good games. You'll love to see it. Very nice to join Force Clear. GG's, Yab. On to the next one. All right, final match. Let's see who our last opponent is. Cammy will be our last opponent. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Wait. No. I was about to say, Medius isn't affecting Gilliam, but yeah. Okay, how do we best do this? I mean, we can't really run um, Summer Edelgard, because Gilliam will just, like, hard counter that. The max hex trap is 65, right? They say this armor has been passed down in Regal since ages long past. Huh. Yeah, I don't know about this. Hmm. I mean, at least, like, with Vengeful Fighter and everything, it shouldn't be too bad. But this is really pushing it in terms of, like, the things we can do. At least we get true damage, though. But yeah, my, my Alm, unfortunately, is literally, like, 1 HP short of, um of clearing, being able to clear, like, hex traps. Not like... It would actually do anything, though.
Although, the only um, tank here, the only range units here, or like nuke, is Veronica. So if we're able to survive Veronica, and like, I don't know, outspeed her or something, I think we can, like, use Lucia. Alright, I'm gonna try it. I might end up regretting this, but I think this is like our only option. To do something like this. If you're certain. No res buff though, which is a bit unfortunate. The glimmer of life. But I guess we can wait. There's no harm not to. Ready. Right? As you wish. I agree. My turn? Yes. Very well. Which path to take? As you wish. And yeah, we can get the neutralizing penalties here, and then have Lucia out here to hopefully be able to tank everything. Hopefully. <laughs> but, like, from what I count... This should work, especially with uh, Triandra isolated. Alright, here we go. Harsh command. Yeah, very good. As you wish. Okay, now we take out Gilliam, which is really nice. Hmm. But I don't think like anyone else well. should be able to like take us out. Yeah, only um I think only Triandra can reach, so we literally just end turn here. The glimmer of life. And bait out the dancer. Okay, I guess the dancer is not getting baited. Which is a bit unfortunate. If you're certain. As you wish. Uh-huh. If you're certain. Yeah. Maybe we could maybe we should have taken out Gilliam when we had the chance. <laughs> Hmm. Very well. Ready. As you wish. If you're certain. Very I think we well. should just stay here, though. <laughs> Might as well. Okay. Medius goes in. Nice, 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 nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see now. As you wish. Okay, let's take out Katria. And I guess go here. There should not be any more shenanigans because... Um, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, we do need to, like, like make this. sure we are able to take What's out Gilliam, plan? though. <laughs> yes. The unknown beckons. Mm, maybe this way. I guess that'll be, like, It'll a be work done. in progress. My turn? I bestow my blessing. Like this. 
Hmm. If you're certain, it will be done. Mela should be able to survive Gilliam at least once. I'm pretty sure. Especially without the bonfire crawl. Good morning. Very well. We can do something like that. Death's caress. Alright, let's try that. Oh yeah, zero damage. Alright. Mila's broken. <laughs> like this. And yeah, Mila actually gets that too. Which is really cool. Um, let's not mess around. We already got all the pots. I mean, this is the final match, so we don't need the pots. Yeah. Lucia is, uh, kind of broken. <laughs> Man, uh, f that free summon Lucia coming in clutch. GG's Kami. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we got absolutely battered on a defense. Okay, look at this. Like, okay, this failure got a sack play. Um, this failure got a sack play, followed by um, an AR classic success. Thankfully, I did get a success here, but then more sack plays. And then I got, obviously, minus 60s here, but this one was another AR classic, which, of course, it happens in this order. But yeah, we got really hammered on defense, so that just means that I'll need to one day revamp my defense. It's hard, though, because I don't have Medius or Embla. I would really like to get Embla, but yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, overall, very nice um, Ether Rates week, if I do say to myself. Gotta use an Omni tanking team for the first time in, like, I want to say two years, <laughs> which is kind of insane to think about. Um, but yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to help support the channel. Only takes 5 seconds to subscribe, but it truly does help out this channel a lot, and I really do appreciate all the constant support. Let me know down in the comments how your Ether Rage runs went so far. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time. Bye everyone!